Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue, the complete Pokedex edition. Um, in between videos, what I actually did was I decided to take the Jay the Jay Z, Jay Z, and get him up to speed with the rest of the Pokemon. He didn't it didn't really even take that long. Um, especially once he learned at level 23, he learned Trash, which he has just been wrecking everything with. So. Um, we also have Timothy here, and you know what, I've actually decided to go ahead, I've got the TMs out and ready, I've decided to go ahead and get um, teach Tri-Attack at least to Timothy, um, because I think, well, he's the most useful Pokemon that I'm going to have that can learn it. I have the Psychic Team with TM with me as well, I'm still not 100% sure Minimize he learnt as well, which is really handy. I think I'm actually going to go over double slap with try attack because it's just going to be more consistently useful. Um, because what is it like a power 80 attack? That means you'd have to get double slap to hit like pre pretty much like all five times, well four times at least for it to be anywhere near as powerful. So um, I'm 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 not 100% decided yet whether I'm going to go ahead with um. Teaching Timothy Psychic or not, that's something that I'm going to leave for a while. I'm going to see how he gets on with Tri-Attack, but Tri-Attack should really beef him up, so that's going to be really handy. And make him more usable, especially for um, for taking out other Pokemon. I'm guarding this poster. Go away, or else. Doesn't this guy just have Eradicate? <laughs> Eradicate that knows Hyper Fang, no less, but still. Oh, he has two Pokemon. There's a goddamn Koi Poo. <laughs> Also, what I did, like, um, well, I didn't mean to do this. Let's let's see if we can show off Jay Z here and see see what he's all about. That was just a message that I got, which I'm going to ignore. I'm in a very kind of like chilled out, relaxed sort of mood today because it is a um because it's a Sunday morning and I'm just after waking up and deciding to record this and I'm just extremely extremely chilled out and relaxed here, so. Um, that, that's kind of the, the mood you're going to get for this recording session in um, the Rocket Game Corner in the Rocket Hideout. I'm just going to let him trash about here. He's probably going to take it out in one hit, see? It's like a power 90 attack, which I know it has like the proviso that you're going to get confused afterwards. But still, I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, how many Pokemon are going to are, is a trainer going to have? And as well, like if you're going up against a trainer, you're pretty much going to get the opportunity to... Um, you're, you're to switch out and break it up, so really there, there's no real issue. It's a very very useful attack in the long in 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 the actual game. Competitively, trash is obviously a no go. But even though I did have like a Pokemon with Petal Dance competitively, that can be useful. Now what I did want to do was get where's Officiate? Didn't I want to get Officiate to evolve? Wasn't that one of my goals? Um, I guess it wasn't. <laughs> I was here like sorting out my Pokemon and I was like, oh, I, re I really want Officiate to evolve. Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back and I'm going to switch out Beyonce for Officiate and I'm going to be back in two seconds. Okay, welcome back. I'm back. And you might be wondering, why isn't this the Rocket Game Corner? Well, I actually wanted to go ahead and buy a Water Stone. Do you want know I might as well buy a couple of these things? Because I'm going to be... Well, no, I'm not going to talk about that yet. What else can I buy? A leaf stone for Mr. Burn, I guess, but I still want to level him up to learn to learn Razor Leaf before I go and bite the bullet on that one. I suppose I could pick up a Fire Stone, a Thunder Stone. No, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna like leave it at the Water Stone for the moment. Um, because like I looked up Eevee's Generation One move set in between videos as well. Um, and actually, there's not really much anything that Eevee learns that 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 is worthwhile keeping it unevolved for. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and evolve Misty Day into Vaporeon at, at like the next convenient moment, I guess, just to, because it'll be fun. Or will I? I don't know. These are all things I can just decide and change my mind on on the fly. At least I know now that I have... Do you know what? I didn't even bother healing up my Pokemon, but at least I have Officiate now. Beyonce is going to take a well-deserved rest. Um, seeing as we've been using Beyonce for like the in almost the entirety of the game, and now we're after switching the queen out and bringing in the king is basically what we're after doing in this video. 
because even Beyonce needs to take needs to take off and <laughs> needs to have a get cake of cheese now and then. <laughs> even Beyonce needs to have a cake of cheese every now and then. And then it's time for Needle King, aka um, Jay Z, to enter the fray. Let's give Timothy a go, because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see like how try attack is going to work out. Don't you disable my try attack right now? Thank you. Jeez. Apparently, try attack doesn't do any status ailments in Gen One either, which is really interesting. That's something that was only introduced in like Generation Two. <coughs> Excuse me. You keep disabling that pound. Sorry, I need to. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough. I, be I was eating pistachios before recording. That's probably what 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 it did. What did it? Yeah, we'll change Pokemon, we'll switch out to Officiate, because he's like right on the brink of evolving here. There's the Weetabix Bodybuilder, I have my own one of you back in the box. Good old Randy. Randy Dirty Jackson. I remember... <laughs> Randy Dirty Jackson, like seriously. Um, I'm not going to send in Timothy, because he'll just get decimated. Like Goofy got obliterated. But um, I remember like we were watching American Idol one day. And it was like the same time, about the same time that, um, it was about the same time that P. Diddy had changed his name to Diddy Dirty Money or something like that, I think. So we were like making jokes about that. And then my younger brother said something, started instead of like Randy Jackson, called him like Randy Dirty Jackson, which is just... Hilarious in and of itself. I mean, there's no denying that Randy Dirty Jackson just sound has all the wrong connotations. Seriously. Oh yeah, we need Bingo the card. He opened the door to get out there. I always thought there was a TM down there, but I guess I was wrong. This Rocket Game Corner isn't actually that long, especially considering like how powerful the Pokemon are that we have. I mean, when you think about like the Pokemon that we have at this point of the game, we have like a Nido King, we have a Nido Queen. We're going to have a Vaporeon soon enough. Just another wall. We have Clefairy, which is actually doing really well. Good old Timothy. We have Ducks, the mighty Ducks, who's just absolutely insane. Seriously, like there's no, like, like there's there's no contest there. Like like the way like Ducks just swept through the entirety of the Celadon gym was just incredible. Like, I, it's just, it, it, like, <laughs> it was just kind of a little bit pitiful, really, like, the way, like, myself and this one little Farfetch just managed to, like, just take out an entire building. Oh, here we go! Oh, here we go! Oh, here we go! Now I'm excited. Now we'll, we'll leave Jay-Z trash about a little bit longer. See, look, there he goes, critical hit. He, he's a force to be reckoned with, seriously, and that's that's the thing, I was wondering, I was trying to decide, oh, will I even, like, um, officiate his evolving the moment we've been waiting for? <laughs> it's time for everyone to get sick because of officiate. He does look sickening, look at him, in, a, in the good way. Sickening in a good, powerful sort of way, and he learned bite. Oh my goodness, oh my damn, Officiate is going ham. And we got an escape rope, which I really don't need because Nancy knows Dig, so that's really everything you're going to need. I'm like wondering like how I'm ever going to decide what to do with all of these water types. That's like my one like, that, that's like my one downfall is that I'm so attached to certain types of Pokemon that, that I end up getting saturated with like a load of different Pokemon of that one type. So like, as it is in my party right now, I have the makings of three water Pokemon, Wartortle, Vaporeon, and Gyarados. Th this would be a good test for Officiate, actually. Oh my god, even his back sprite looks scary. He's just gonna take things out all over the place, because attack stat is crazy. You call that a bite? That was even a critical hit, how pitiful. Like seriously, how pitiful. Fishiage is going to take them all out. And a coughing? Well, actually, that might prove somewhat more challenging. It's a shame, actually, that I used the, um... It's a shame that I didn't plan that better with Beyonce. Do you know the way I taught her, like, 
water gun with the TM first, and then I taught her bubble beam over water gun, which was such a waste. Like, if I had that water gun TM now, I totally teach it to officiate, because I don't think officiate ever learns a um, water gun. I think the only water attack Gyarados actually learns in Generation 1 is Hydro Pump, like right at the end, so don't you disable my bite. You did you dare to say <laughs> You dare disable my bite? Well, Officiate is just gonna make you sick. You're gonna be a man who got sick because of Officiate. <laughs> is what's gonna happen. That being said, I'm not really that worried. I mean, like, as far as, like, water attacks are concerned, by virtue of the existence of the, the Surf HM, you pretty much have 100% access to, like, a ridiculously powerful, accurate water attack as many times as you want. I mean, who needs Water Gun and who needs Bubble Beam when you can just teach Surf to everything? Which is kind of ridiculous. See, look, Officiate is just taking them all out. He's crazy. Officiate might actually be a good, like, contender for the Rage TM. Just because, like, Officiate will have, like, good HP and good survivability. Um, to be able to take a hit or two against, like, the right team, against, like, the proper kind of team, do you know? Do, and, like, and Officiate is the kind of Pokemon that you could theoretically sweep an entire team with, so... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'm just gonna see what we can actually take out here first, even though I don't think this is the most, like, productive way to go about this. Let's give Officiate some more time in the limelight. He spent so long, like... Like shacked up in the in the daycare center, like without seeing the light of day. <laughs> this thing, it's, you like I, I'm quaking in my boots for my non-existent feet is what officiate is thinking right now. That's gonna do jack shit. It actually did more than I thought it would do, because it isn't like. Officiate supposed to be a flying type? Um, hello. <laughs> Funnily enough, and I remember that was like one of those conversations that that took place like right from the very beginning, like even like right at the very beginning when Pokemon came out and we were all like, wait a second, why is Gyarados a water and flying type? He should just be like a water type or like a water and dragon type. Like that's what we all thought. Oh my god, poor Officiate, you have to kill it with this one hit. No, officiate! No, officiate got sick. I lost the battle because of officiate. Let's just bring in um, Timothy. <laughs> well, I could have brought in Misty Day, I suppose. You see, I kind of want to show off Misty Day as an EV before just like taking the plunge and evolving it into into Vaporeon. You speaking of like EV and speaking of Vaporeon, you guys might be wondering. Hang on a second. So you have like one Eevee and you get like one Eevee in the game. TM10, whatever that is. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, let's, let's let's see what it is, actually. <laughs> I can't remember and I don't care. It contains double... Oh my god, that's that's a good one. That might actually be a good one for... For um even... For any Pokemon, really. I'm actually going to go back up. Um, to the other floor before taking on this floor because I'm just going to need the key right when we get to the end so there's no point. Um, what was I going to say? Well, I was going to say that might even be a good one for Jay-Z, Double Edge, who knows? We'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, you guys might be wondering, like, and I'm sure this is like the question that people have been asking themselves. Well, I'm, I'm sure people have been asking themselves like this as, as if it was some like some huge like issue of public concern. But like, you get like one Eevee in the game, just like you only get one starter. And you guys are one pro probably wondering still, because I haven't really cleared up how I'm going to do this. How am I going to get like the other evolutions, and how am I going to get like the other starters and things like that. Well, you don't, and, and like, the, not to mention the version exclusives, there's a Moonstone for Timothy when we need it. What am I going to do now? I'm gonna go for this one first, because I want to go up and get that item. Got item! <laughs> I, I don't know how I like, started saying that in this LP all of a sudden. It's like I never said it ever, ever before in any other LP. TMO7, I think that's Horn Drill, as far as I know. Okay. I, I might as well just take this one. 
Um, but yeah, like I never said got item ever before in any other LP, so I don't know where that came from all of a sudden with the Pokemon Blue LP. Okay, what do I want to do here? I think I just want to go down here. Because there are items like over there in the corner, I kind of want to get over there as well. So I am actually going to go up and get this one, because I think there's stuff like down in the bottom left hand corner. Yeah, see? Which I want to be able to get, because there are like good items here, like in the... Um, in, there are good items here, just like there are really good items in the Sylphco as well, so... It might take a little while, just because the, um... Just because of how the, um, how slow the elevators go. Well, do you, want, do you know what? I might actually, seeing as we'll be coming up to battles, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to dig out of here and get right back, so two seconds. Okay, I went and healed up and got back to this point off screen because I just said, oh, it makes more sense to do this, and oh my god, did I do this wrong? No, I don't think I did because there's the elevator, but if I go up here, then I think this will bring me to where I get the elevator key. Well, no, I think I actually did do this wrong. I think I have to go like to the other floor um, in order to do that. Um, but as I said, like I did say like that I would be obtaining all the different... Um, <coughs> excuse me. All the different like version exclusives and and things like that legitimately which means like i'm not going to be doing any kind of strange glitches or or anything strange like that so you don't have to worry about that the only pokemon that i got in what i would consider like a somewhat illegitimate manner was mew but mew isn't part of the original 150 anyway so i felt that was cool and i really enjoyed getting the chance to just show off um, getting Mew for, for people that mightn't have known it, or because this is probably the only chance in an LP I'm going to get to show that off anyway. So that's why I thought it was really, like, that, that that's why I really enjoyed doing that. Please don't kill Officiate. Please don't, you're, you're supposed to get sick because of Officiate, is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and now another Rashgate. Well, do you know what? We're going to give Officiate a well-deserved rest. We're going to bring out Jay-Z here. Because I feel Jay-Z can take out the rest of these fools with a, with a well-placed trash. I'm trying to think like what kind of what kind of attacks you could teach Jay-Z to get his like attack up. Because the thing is like they if I had left him as a as a Nidorino, he would have learned to focus energy eventually. But the thing is like I, I think I was explaining before like focus energy is actually glitched. So um. Like, it, it actually is counterproductive, like, it doesn't actually work the way it's supposed to work. Do you know the way focus energy is supposed to increase your critical hit ratio? Well, actually, focus energy in this, and I, but I believe they, they, um, fixed it in Pokemon Stadium. Focus energy in the Gen 1 Game Boy games actually decreases your critical hit ratio, so it makes it, like, even less likely to get a critical hit, which obviously is not in your best interest. Um, but I'm trying to think like what other ways there could be to get like Nido King to to set up as as um, to to raise his attack or anything like that because I'm not sure like that. I don't think it can learn like Sword Stance even though there is the Sword Stance TM. Pretty, like loads of different Pokemon can learn it, but I'm not sure like which ones can learn it or not. And you see, that's up with up there is where we need to be going. Um, so I think actually what I'm going to have to do is go down to the floor below in order to do this, so... I was kind of hoping maybe I'd get the Rocket Game Corner done in one video. Um, but, like, I, I don't know about that now. See, the thing is, if we, we're getting, we're getting, like, past the point of no return, we're getting to the point where if I, like, if I, like, decide now to stop the video, you're kind of in that dumb situation where, um... You're kind of in that dumb situation where, like, in the, in the next video you only do, like, about, like, two minutes of the Rocket Game Corner before do, moving on to something else, and it's kind of silly, or that kind of way. Coughing? Do you know what? No, I'll keep Officiate out here. Item? I'm just gonna use a super... Do I still have Beyonce's Lemonade? No, I gave that to that guard. <laughs> that That's where Beyonce's Lemonade is. Today is actually the day after I recorded, um... The day after I recorded, like the the videos where I was in Celadon City and stuff like that, so it's the morning after, and I actually did go ahead and watch um 
the first two episodes of American Horror Story Cult that I had recorded. Um, and, like, I actually really, really enjoyed them. They were so, so good. Like, it was just such, like... It, it's so interesting. Like, it's, it's the way I felt as well, like, watching Roanoke last year. It was just kind of something new and something different. And I really think what they're doing, like, this time around is they're putting, like, the America back in American Horror Story, if you know what I mean. Because it just is about, like, the horror apparent in everyday American life and culture. Um, which I just think is a really cool idea to for, for going about it, to that kind of way. So that's something that's really fun. Um, and that, the reason I got reminded of it just there was because of, like, the way that, um... Like, there, there's this one part where they go over to... Where Sarah Paulson goes over to this neighbor lady. And she's like, do you want to come in for some lemonade? And then she's, like, pouring out the lemonade. And she's like, I can't pour this lemonade ever again without thinking of Beyonce Knowles or something like that. It's just really, like, really funny. And I remember, like, talking with my younger brother about, like, um... About, like, the way there, there's always, like, oh, what's going to be the next American Horror Story? Or what, what's going to be the theme of it? Or what's going to be the setting? See, we can't use the elevator yet anymore. Or yet, because we don't have the key. We don't have the bingo, the card key opened the door. Um... Poor officiate is poisoned, I know. I feel bad about it, but... Them's the breaks at the moment, officiate. Um... So, so like, and and we were talking, like, oh, I wonder what it's going to be. And I was like, it's going to be, like, American Horror Story meme is what I called it. <laughs> and it's funny because that's actually exactly what it's turning out to be. It's turning out to be, like, American Horror Story internet, pretty much. Because it's just about, like, like and there are so many, like, examples that you could even talk about. There's just, like, the... the the whole prevalence of, of social media in the new season. There's, like, the references to... Th like, the, the overt refer references to, like, trypophobia and things like that, which is just, like, a really... Like, like let, let's just, like, enter into this conversation the right way or the most, like, sensitive way possible. Obviously, that's something that a lot of people have um, and suffer with when, when it comes to everyday life. But for the most part, I think trypophobia is, like, an... an a really good example of like mass hysteria um where like well like mass hysteria not in the not in the sense of people going crazy but in like the proper sense of the word where people just kind of like you you hear what or like folly a deux is probably like the best is probably like a more appropriate way to describe it because like what folly a deux is is it's like the madness of two it's that kind of like where where you kind of start to develop the symptoms of somebody that that you see having those symptoms and, and that's what it's like. It's like, oh, well, I heard about this thing called trypophobia, and people are talking about it on the internet. Well, I'm, I'm going to say that I have it as well, and I'm going to almost, like, convince myself that I have it too. I think it's, like, so, so appropriate that they have, like, something like that in American Horror Story Cult, because that's kind of the whole... Um, that's kind of, like, the whole... Like, um... The, the, the keystone of it is modern culture and social media and internet culture and modern society and I just think it's so funny I, I, by the way I do not know why I just sent out Misty Day to fight this drowsy <laughs> I kind of just wanted to see Misty Day being an Eevee and this is going downhill very very quickly so I'm going to switch back out to someone else <laughs> I was like hmm <laughs> This might be a good idea, maybe not. <laughs> Don't you disable my try attack, bitch. Like, I love how, like, all of a sudden battles with Timothy have turned from, okay, we're going to try and get them to sleep, and then we're going to double slap them, and we have to keep them asleep, otherwise they're going to take me out, to, okay, now I'm just going to be able to use try attack to my heart's content. I think this is, like, the best decision I ever made <laughs> in this LP so far. Um, so yeah, that first, like, that's what I wanted to say, really. Like, I loved how, like, the, the last season, like, Roanoke, I loved how that was kind of, like, a comment on, like, television as well, and how it, like, took modern television culture and turned it into something else, and turned it into a show about modern television culture. I'm just gonna see whether I can get, yeah, I want to got item. Well, I could have got that, like, before. A rare candy, well, that's actually useful. Okay, so now I have to go all the way around again. 
you know what, this video is getting up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out of here, go to the Pokemon Center, and I'm going to meet you at that stairs down there. So, um, thanks for watching this part of Let's Play Pokemon Blue. See you next time. Bye now.